back with a highly requested video, one that I would thoroughly enjoy watching myself and something that you guys have been asking for for the longest time. This is going to be your guide to success. This isn't an easy road, this isn't an easy thing to accomplish and success comes in so many different forms. Some people view success as being happy, having loads of money, achieving their life goals, helping as many people as they can. Lots of people view success in different ways and I view it in multiple different ways myself so obviously this isn't a guide for every single human being on the planet but this kind of guide to better yourself and I guess the best way to put it this is a guide to becoming a hashtag girl boss. Step one is the early bird catches the worm. The earlier you wake up, the more you're gonna get done. I used to wake up so late and go to sleep at midnight and honestly, it's a childish habit. It's something you do when you're a teenager and you're in high school and it's a hard habit to break. It took me a long time to do it, but now I wake up between six and seven every morning and I feel so much better for it. I get so much more done. It's amazing how much you can fit into your day when you're not waking up in the afternoon. <laughs> My next tip is out of sight, out of mind. I personally cannot work in an untidy space. I need things to be clean, in order, where they need to be, and that goes to my office space, my bedroom space, everywhere in my house. If you wake up early in the morning, you have time to tidy up, you have time to work out, you have time to make a good, healthy breakfast. So, my next step is to take care of your insides, and not just your outsides. Exercise is good for your mind, body, soul. It helps you keep a good outside appearance, which obviously isn't that important, but it's nice to have if you can. Um, but it's also so important to keep your insides moving. It just helps with mental health. I have struggled with depression, anxiety in the past. I still struggle with those things to this day, but exercise for me is something that has been helping. I recently signed up to the gym, but going for a run might just be the cure to one of your problems. My next tip is to become a creature of habit. Routine is absolutely key. When you wake up in the morning, make your bed, plan your next step, work out and perfect a quick makeup routine. My makeup routine takes me about 10 minutes. I can add eyeliner for an extra minute if I'm feeling it that day. Not today. This face took me 10 minutes. It's really easy. Once you've got a routine, it's just like primer, foundation, concealer, contour, eyebrows done. It's so easy. My next tip is to take your vitamins. If you are ill all the time, how can you expect to be really successful if you're taking sick days every single day of the week? If you can keep control of your health, then do as much as you possibly can towards it. I know for some people it's physically impossible. My mom has a disease and if I said to my mom, oh, take your vitamins and then you won't have sick days, she'd just be like, what? That is so ridiculous. Um, obviously some people are in a position where they can't look after their health and be 100% healthy all the time and that is kind of something that you might want to look at. The perfect job for my mom is one where she works from home. So if you kind of have a health issue that stops you from doing certain things, obviously try not to let it stop you from achieving things but if it is physically impossible for you like it is my mom, then maybe find something that's doable from home or a space where you still have all of your needs met. My next tip is to stay inspired. You can never, ever, ever have too many goals. Not only do you need to set goals, you need to figure out how to get there. My next tip is something that I really live by myself and that is to believe in the person you want to become. It's a quote from Lana, my, my baby, but Honestly, it's so important and there are so many different ways to achieve that. For me, I think the easiest one to mention is dressing for the job you want. If you want to be an astronaut, go and buy yourself an astronaut suit. <laughs> if you want to work for Vogue, if you want to be the editor of Vogue, dress for that job. It makes you feel so much more empowered and I always try and dress up a little bit nicer. I work from home, I could literally wear pyjamas all day if I wanted to, but I feel so much more driven when I am dressed nicely. You know, you know, you feel me? You always feel a little bit more confident when you've got your heels on or your nice dress. For you, that might be wearing jogging bottoms, trainers, a jumper, that might be what makes you feel empowered. But for me, I like dressing up a little bit. My next tip is to have a dedicated work zone. For me, that is so important. Obviously, I live in a house. I have, oh, there's a flow. Obviously, I live in a house. I have a two bedroom house. I was gonna get a three bedroom, but I just kind of felt bad for taking something that I didn't need. So I have a two bedroom house. One bedroom is 
my bedroom and the other bedroom is my office and obviously I also have like the downstairs dining room to use for workspace if I needed it to. This for me is so important. I cannot associate my bedroom with work because then when I walk into the room, I my brain activates. I used to have a desk in my room and it really messed up my sleep. I've had such better sleep since moving my desk out of my bedroom because my brain is an alert when I walk into the room. When I walk into my bedroom, I know it's a place to relax, read, sleep, watch TV. When I walk into here, I know it's a place for work. When I walk into my lounge, I know it's a place where I watch film, to pig out. When I go into the dining room, I know it's a place for food. Same with the kitchen. I think it's good to associate different things in your house for different reasons. My next tip is to keep plants in your workspace. For me, I just love having living things around me. I obviously love pets. I like to have plants around me all the time. It just makes it makes the room feel cleaner and fresher. My next tip is to never stop learning. A lot of people have this misconception of when you leave high school or college or university, you just stop learning and you learn something new every single day. I think the best way to learn new things is to read, whether that be learn a new word, whether that be learn a different thing about life, learn about a different culture. I think it's just so important to keep broadening your horizons and expanding as a person. I think even going online and talking to someone that is from a completely different culture to you and just learning about the way they live, the way they have their life, would be really beneficial to you. It makes you more cultured, more aware. There's a really good word that the kids use these days. Woke. It makes you woke. Is that trendy? I felt really cool then. Personally, the best way for me to learn is through reading, whether that be online articles, blog posts. I just love learning. I read lots of self-help books, whether that be for mental health, organisation, business. My next tip is to have you time. It is so important to take some time for yourself, whether that be having a bubble bath, taking the time to watch your favourite TV show. For me, owning three businesses and me being like working for myself it is so difficult to say to myself, okay, it's time to detach from that now. It's time to spend some time on you. I went through a phase where I literally didn't watch TV for three months. I would literally wake up, work, shower, and go back to sleep. That was my day. I'd wake up, get ready, work, have a shower, take my makeup off, and go to bed. And it put me into this really bad mental place, and it's taken me such a long time to learn that having time for myself is just as important as spending time on my work. Honestly, pampering yourself is so important. Of course, this isn't possible every single day of the week, but try to maybe schedule one day of the week where you use it for just kind of regaining yourself. Maybe a Sunday, that's a great day to like prep yourself for the week ahead, do all the cleaning, the laundry, do a hair mask, mine definitely needs one, do the laundry, do the washing up, do everything. Just kind of have a full regeneration day. My next tip is to have a schedule. It's so important to have a routine and a schedule that lets you cram as much in as possible. Being organised is a really key thing in my life. My business partner is absolutely awful at being organised. They just cannot stick to times. And for me, we are like two completely different people. They are never on time. They cannot stick to a schedule. And for me, I have to say, okay, we're doing this and this until till 10, because otherwise my brain just gets muddled. I spend too long doing certain things. It just, it's a mess if I don't have a schedule and self-discipline. And my last most honest and brutal tip is that success is not for everybody it's just not it's not this easy road where you just kind of you get on it and it's a straight line you'll get on it there'll be curves there'll be junctions it's it's going to be difficult and you can't forget to pick yourself back up from a fall there have been plenty of times where i've tried something and it's not worked out and i've just kind of been left in this slump where i just felt so defeated and it just, you can't forget to pick yourself back up. If you want to be successful, you can't have a mindset of, oh, that didn't work out, I'm never going to try again. If you want to be successful, you need to realise that failures are the best advice you'll get. When you fail at something, you can look at what went wrong and try again. You can look at what went wrong and go down a different route. Never, ever, ever forget to pick yourself back up again. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is going to believe in you either. Nobody else is going to believe in what you're doing. 
If I didn't believe in my businesses, people wouldn't have got on board with it. They would have seen that I wasn't very passionate about it and they would have just ignored it. Just, she doesn't care about it, so why should I? It's her own business. You know what I mean? I believe in you, so you should believe in yourself too. That is all my advice for this video and I really, really, really hope that you found it helpful. Let me know if you have any other advice, leave it in the comments and let me know if you have any other video requests. So I hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a subscribe maybe. If you want to check out my Instagram and Twitter then I will put it on the screen and I'll put it on the end card of this video as well. I love you guys so much, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. So deep I closed my eyes and I just took off running I turned around and saw the look on your face So I stay yeah, yeah.